This is how I'd go about modeling a square rod in SolidWorks. I'll start by drawing a sketching a square on the front plane and I'll draw a relationship between these two lines. I'll make them equal to make sure that it's a square and then I'll begin by drawing a couple of center lines, one across the front of the square and one vertically across the center of the square. And this allows me to make relationships between the center line and the origin that centers it horizontally and I'll do another one to center it vertically. Now I'll draw a relationship or I'll dimension the square and let's just we'll just call it one inch for the sake. And now I'll go under features I'll go extruded brass, we'll go mid plane and let's make it I don't know, three, we'll make it uh, two inches. You'll want to make yours quite a bit longer to avoid end effects when you do the analysis. One thing we'll need is an axis that goes down the center of the square, and we'll also need a point here to draw a sensor on the right-hand side. So let's go reference geometry and axis, and I'll draw a point. We'll use the center point, or we'll use the origin as one point and then I'll make the line perpendicular to that face. Click OK. We could extend this axis out a little bit if you like. And then I search around, make sure it's right in the center of the square and we look OK. Let's edit the sketch and under this sketch menu we'll select a point and I'll put that point right here because that's where I want to locate the sensor. So I'll click OK with that, exit the sketch, and now I need on top of that point I need a reference geometry, another point, and I'll locate that, I'll make the sketch visible, and I'm going to locate that point right here across the intersection of the mid, uh, the center line and the edge of the square. Now under sensors I right click, we'll add a sensor, and we'll want to record simulation data and stress, and it defaults to the von Mises stress, but uh, for this case, we're curious about the shear stress due to torsion, so I'll call it the first principal stress. We'll report that, and let's report it in Pascal, and now let's do, uh, we're going to reference that point, so I could say max over selected entity, minimum or average over one point, it ought to be the same value, and now I'll click the point to locate that sensor, and everything should be good, and I'll click OK. So now uh, the sensor is called point one. If we want to, we can re rename it. I'll call it stress at right face or something like that. So now go simulation and I'll add a new study. And let's fix the back face of this. I'll go fix geometry on that back face. Click OK. And to the right or the front face, let's apply a torque, we'll apply an external load, a torque, and I'm going to apply it about this front face, and the axis, I'm going to use this axis of rotation to give the direction of the torque counterclockwise about that action a, uh, axis. I'll leave it at one newton meter, but you could adjust that however you please it. And now when you run the simulation, you're applying a torque at this face, you fix the back face of it, run the simulation, and up here at the sensor, once you've run it, you should you uh, will be able to click uh, right click on that and click update, and it will give you the exact uh, number for the stress at that point. And remember to make your rods quite a bit longer so that you can avoid uh, edge effects when you run the simulation.